Hello everyone and bonjour, this is Tarek. Uh, today I want to talk about leveling builds for Falconeer. Um, we had the reveal recently uh, on Maxwell, uh, so this is not a class that is yet uh, playable. You're going to be able to play it on release at the 21st of February, so uh, around a week, <laughs> basically. And uh, I compiled a few ideas on things I think are going to be good. So obviously I'm a part of City but I cannot disclose any information that are under NDA. So only based uh, my theory crafting uh, upon data that we have right now uh, available. So first build, uh, I want to want to build into Dive Bomb because I think Dive Bomb uh, has great potential as damage. So you have a lot of nodes with uh, big multipliers like those. You have a node to reduce the cooldown, so by default it has 7 cooldown plus 8, so that's 15 times 1.72, so a lot of cooldown. Uh, and you're going to be able to recover that every time you use a throwing or bow attack, and at least hit an enemy. Then we want to reduce the mana cost, obviously. And then I have uh, this and this part. So I think uh, going Shadow Falcon uh, should basically multiply your damage. This plus this. So every time you use Dive Bomb, it's also going to proc Shadow Falcon from your own shadows. Which is why I have this node. Uh, so you would have, I think, to use uh, Smoke Bomb to generate shadows. And then from the shadows of your Smoke Bomb, it's going to generate Shadow Falcons. That's going to hit the enemy, so basically multiplying your damage. This node also makes it so that once they hit an enemy, um, like, and it's inside the Smoke Bomb, it's going to land, it's going to dive again, basically. So you get two hits for each Shadow Falcon. Uh, and then you want to increase the duration of Smoke Bomb so to make it more reliable. Uh, another queer quirk sorry, of uh, uh, Dive Bomb is that it also scales from the Falconry tree. So basically the Falconry tree is going to be like the tree for your Falcon. And it also scales all the other uh, Falcon abilities. So Dive Bomb and Aerial Assault. And here you want to grab probably all the multipliers. So more damage, more damage, more damage. So you want to have a lot of deck. Uh, you want to stack decks. Sorry for this. You can uh, also give a part of your stat, of, or like multiplying even your stat and giving it to the falcon. So you have this, which is your increased damage. This, which is your crit chance. And then you can give uh, two hundred and fifty percent of your own crit multiplier, and up to three hundred percent of your flat to uh, the Falcon. Um, so for example, this is... Uh, uh, it's important to know that if you use uh, for those two nodes, a bow attack is going to give the bow crit multi to your own to your minion. If you use a throwing attack, it's going to give the throwing crit multi. Uh, and if you use a melee, the melee crit multi. And uh, last skill of the build, that is uh, core, uh, would be uh, Explosive Trap. With Sky Signal and Free Lofting Bird. Free Lofting Bird is going to reduce the cooldown of Dive Bomb. And also Falconry if you want to use the Falcon Strike. And Sky Signal is an insane buff. Uh, basically every time an Explosive Trap detonates, it gives 15% more damage to the Falcon. So to Dive Bomb again. And uh, you want to uh, use Bow Attack. Uh, you are gonna throw additional traps, uh, so by default only one trap, plus two traps here, so three, and then this node in combination with those two nodes, that's two more traps, so you have four, uh, five, sorry, traps that are thrown every time you use explosive trap. And yeah, you want to reduce the mana cost as much as possible because it's like 10 mana cost plus 14. With those two nodes, it's probably gonna be 11 to 12 mana cost, uh, if I remember correctly. And that's why for the build, you want to stack a lot of mana regen. So any implicit with mana regen, your body armor, ring, you can get um, the prefix increased mana regen on rings, belt, uh, amulet, and a relic. If you can get morning frost, that would be an insane uh, damage increase. Because basically, you take your dexterity, it's going to be your... Uh, bow attack your flat bow attack as called and basically all of that flat is multiplied by three 
So dexterity has insane value also because you scale the flat, you scale the increased damage, and you scale uh, the more damage from this node. Yeah. Also in smoke bomb, you have th that node right here giving increased damage, increased melee, and increased swing. So the dive bomb and the falcon, like most of the attack are like melee from the falcon. So this is pretty huge. And this is also like the, for the shadows, obviously. Uh, another uh, version of this build would be going for Ballista. So you'd have basically Ballista as um, your clear. Uh, you would only spam Explosive Trap, so it will proc uh, Ballista through this. And then for second target, you would have Dive Bomb. And so um, this build, like Ballista and Dive Bomb, they scale nearly one to one. Both are minion, both scale from Dexterity. With that. Um, they both get your crit multi, your crit chance, uh, a part of your increase, and also your flat damage. So I think that, that, that those two abilities are very uh, uh, equal in that regard. And third build that is still <laughs> in the same vein, still using Explosive Trap, but this time I want to full focus on Ballista. <laughs> So for that, I would need, uh, I, don't, I basically don't want to have any mana problem because the problem is that Ballista costs a lot of mana. Uh, by default, it costs 22 uh, with those nodes. That node, sorry. So 44 to 22. And when it's proc through Explosive Trap, it costs 11. Uh, and so you want to reduce the mana cost as much as possible. Uh, I went, uh, I remove, I didn't go for the nodes that increase the mana cost, those two nodes. Uh, I still went for the the extra uh, traps through those three nodes right here. And uh, you still want to use Morning Frost. And very important, you want to have minus throwing attack, uh, minus throwing mana cost uh, on rings. So on both rings, you want to have that. And you also want to have throwing attack speed. So you have that on rings and uh, gloves. You could even go here in, instead of turquoise amulet. Uh, you could go Jade Amulet for the throwing attack speed. And uh, here, uh, Outcast Hat also for the throwing attack speed. I worry that, for for example, this, since we have three traps, so the base one plus those two, and it's only 20% chance, so we would need to have like a lot of attack speed to compensate the low uh, proc chance. And basically, when it procs, so it's gonna proc like two Ballista, and the third one, is gonna make the the first uh, ballista that you summoned uh, explode automatically, so you don't even need to go to to that node right here to require. Uh, and then I fully spec into mana, like uh, for example shift. I want to get mana back. Um, okay, I forgot about this. Uh, it's also gonna proc shadow cascade, which is also gonna proc mana. Um, with shadow cascade, you can also like get a, an increased physical damage. Probably get. It can probably get past to ballista. Mm. But Ballista is not... This is fire damage, okay. Actually, boom, 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 boom. You don't really need that. All right. Um, so that's it for Explosive Trap. But I have another skill that I found very interesting. is Net. Uh, net, you can proc Punctures. With uh, transforming the net into a trap. And you can throw three traps. And from those three tra traps, you have Puncture. So this build is basically going to be bleed build, classic, <laughs> from the marksman usually. So you have net, I think net hits, and probably the the trap also might hit, I don't know, uh, I don't remember. And so you have maybe one hit and plus two two throw, so that's like three hits if, this, if it's like a big enemy for a single target, for example. And then you also have... Uh, puncture so that's three more hits you have like a lot of bleed support in the tree you also have caltrops that hits so every time you use net is going to proc two caltrops one at your feet and one at the target location so if you are in melee it's, it's going to hit both uh, that's a lot of hits basically uh, puncture you go classic for the build buff you can use the fizz red shred the more damage maybe mana mana back so whenever you use net and it procs, it also procs the mana back. In Aerial Assault, you can, very important to spec into that, because you have bleed for caltrops and more damage for caltrops. So that scale 
the couch shops procs from the net. And it's also going to be your movement ability. You have nice uh, health recovery here. Like 50% of your health, uh, missing health. Uh, that's quite nice. If you can spam that ability, that, that would be very uh, very good for recovery. Uh, smoke Bomb, you have Puncture Bleach Chance here. And you also have Shadows. So Shadows, they are going to use any throwing attack and in any melee attack. So since Net is a throwing attack, uh, it's going to also throw uh, Nets um, whenever there is a Shadow. And Falconry, I, I uh, went Falconry for uh, two reasons. The first one is that you can get a buff here with attack speed. So it's going to generate a Falcon, Falcon, Falconer's Mark Sorry, every time it hits, like 40% chance, actually. And if you use an ability, it's going to consume the mark and give you that buff. You also want this, which is uh, converting a part of your helm and chance to the Falcon. Uh, and this for like uh, health regen and mana regen. Uh, so you want bleed as much as possible uh, on your weapon. You have this base that gives bleed. If you can get bleeding, bleeding Heart for like uh, Leech, that's really, really nice. Uh, and in the passive tree, uh, one specificity is this. Uh, you want to use a spear. So I use in the planner, I use a spear because of this node. So you get like free bleed chance and free increased chance, uh, increased damage. Uh, this also uh, is the reason why I have a Falcon is because you have a 25% chance of getting Crimson Shroud. And Crimson Shroud are giving you, uh, yeah, you can have three stacks max and they each give you 50% bleed chance. So that's 150% bleed chance for free, basically. Oh, I didn't talk about this node right here. For all the previous build, this node is very important because you gain mana gain uh, on trap detonation. So uh, net, explosive trap, they all detonate if, if uh, you convert net to a, to a trap. And this is going to recover like a portion of your mana. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have another version that I thought about. And actually, I showed this version in uh, the reveal video on uh, with Zizaren where I use a bow. And the reason why I'm using a bow is uh, two things. The first is the coverage. So you have way more coverage uh, that way. And the second reason is um, you can, um, where is it? Uh, in the passive tree, you can take advantage of this. Um, so let's say you don't drop a bleeding heart. Uh, with this setup, uh, when you're low life, you can directly manually cast Puncture to gain back like 40 mana, uh, 40 health plus 16 health, so 56 health every time you use Puncture. So during leveling, that's huge, and that, that's massive. Uh, plus you gain uh, you gain some mana back with that, 8 mana. But it's basically going to be the same build. Um, it's just the, the weapon that changed. Plus you get like a nice, this is pretty nice, like a free... Uh, Bleed on bow hit and also free damage over time here. Whereas like the, the spear doesn't really have any like nice implicit until like very late, like level 82, like the fist pen. Uh, I guess fire res is also useful. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the builds that I thought about. I have to talk about uh the pre-order uh because this is a sponsored video. So we're gonna have like before the release, uh you can buy pre-orders. They each uh, come with uh, extra uh, MTX and also Epoch points that allows you to buy MTX in the shop in game. Uh, so that, those are really nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and uh, I hopefully see you uh, soon <laughs> for the release. Bye bye.